The plan to revitalize Central Ice Slip answers a long-time question for Long Islanders. What's the deal with those historic abandoned buildings near the courthouses? Well, they were part of a huge state hospital that opened in 1889. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports on the project that'll boost Central Ice Slip's future and preserve some of its past. In the shadow of the Long Island Ducks ballpark and adjacent to the federal courthouse sits 87 acres, once occupied by the Central Islip Psychiatric State Hospital, shuttered in 1996. And now, having that eyesore there. The Reyes family speaks for many in the hamlet of Central Islip. What is the responsible thing to do with more than a dozen 100 year old buildings that once housed thousands of psychiatric patients? Vacant buildings now looking like abandoned. In Hogwarts School of Harry Potter. Use the uh, the space they have wisely. Uh, affordable housing is uh, something that this community needs. At first, developers came in and wanted to raise the structures, build a new, turn it into an industrial park. And we said no. So they went back to the drawing board. Deborah Cavanaugh, president of the Central Islip Coalition of Good Neighbors, says shockingly the consortium of Farmingdale and Bethpage builders listened. It was important to the community that they would keep the buildings and keep the history. It's the latest effort here over the past three decades to revitalize this area of Central Islip, a community of about 35,000 that is lagged economically behind most of Long Island. This truly is a win-win. Islip Town Supervisor Angie Carpenter showed the renderings that will salvage the buildings with new apartments, some for seniors and low income, and create parks, pools, picnic areas, playgrounds, and walking paths. All of those buildings are being preserved, and they're going to be upgraded, and they will be beautiful. Construction is expected to start this spring. From Central Islip, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.